But anyways, Patrick CC. So the other day, we were watching a Patrick CC video. My stream cut out, so I didn't post it on YouTube. But it was like the how Drake and Drake and Josh were never friends or whatever, right? We got a new one. How Zach and Cody escaped from Disney. Crazy, bro. Because, like, they really did their thing and then dipped. It's far too common that child stars they did struggle early adapting too. to a more normal life <laughs> after television fame. Mostly because of the pressure and the young age. Plus all their flaws, successes, and failures. This is exciting. Size to millions of people. Dylan's Amanda Bynes was down bad. Identical twins that had wildly successful careers that started when they were just eight months old. We know that Disney actors are often overworked, develop emotional trauma, and have a hard time getting away from the label of child star. Even at a young yeah. age, the twins realized this and started their master plan to capitalize on the rewards of being a Disney star, only to escape and leave their past behind them forever. Make sure you're hydrated while watching this video. Dylan and Cole Sprouse are the 30-year-old twins, mostly known for their two major hit Disney They're TV 30 shows, now? The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, wow. and the sequel, Sweet Life on Deck. But before they did that, they had some other pretty major accomplishments. They starred as Julian in Big Daddy. They played Ross's son on Friends, voice acting in Eight Crazy Nights, as well as a ton of different TV yeah. roles and direct Bro, to video. I, I feel like Sweet Life on Deck was so much cooler than Sweet Life, uh, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but Sweet Life of Zack and Cody had like funnier moments somehow like i feel like the plot was better in some ways like episode to episode but overall sweet life on deck was a better show films not only were the two adorable and talented actors but being identical twins gave them an advantage it allowed hollywood producers to cast them as the same person child labor laws prevent actors under 18 from being overworked when cole was done shooting a scene dylan would step in to do the other and they would trade off and producers were able to get double the work out of essentially one kid 2005 the sweet life of zach and cody danny uh. Callis, who the show always dreamed of doing his version of Eloise at the Plaza, which was a family film about a sweet but mischievous. I forgot about that movie, Hotel. bro. That movie is goaded. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot about that movie, bro. I've only seen it like once. But that's a good movie. He actually wrote the idea of the show two times and tried to sell it to different networks. When he approached mm. the Disney Channel, they actually said to him, here's two twins. What can you build around them? He wrote the idea for The Sweet Life for the third time, and it got picked up. The Sweet Life of Zach nice. and Cody was about two twin boys who lived I, at the five I don't stars. remember where I saw it because I don't think it's a Disney movie. Let me check because I actually don't even know. But I know I've seen it, though. Uh, how do you spell this? Um, it is a Disney movie. Okay, so I probably saw it on Disney Channel. It dropped in 03. So, because Disney used to do, I don't know if they still do it, but like, maybe like 10 years ago, they used to do like Way Back Wednesday, where every Wednesday night they would play like old shows and old movies and stuff. So I probably saw it there. But it's, it's a good movie though. It's really good. Like, for the time. Now it's probably not that good. But off of memory and for the time, it's a good movie. It's basically like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, but just like one girl. Tipped it's pretty good though. Because their mother was an employed singer who performed in the lounge multiple times per week. While she was working or sleeping, the boys would find themselves getting into all kinds of predicaments that they had to work together to get out of. Zack, played by Dylan, was the cool, outgoing, and self-centered brother. While Cody, played by Cole, was the more mature, yeah, nerdy, it's... and gentle twin. Exactly. One thing about Sweet Life on uh, Sweet Life on Deck Two is how cool Cody got before it ended. Play the same as Drake and Josh. But what's funny is Dylan and Cole ended up being very similar to their roles on the show in real life. The boys had amazing chemistry together because they were one actually brothers, and two had been working since before they had conscious thoughts. The show also followed mm. the hotel owner's daughter, London Tipton, played by uh. Brandon Song, who was a parody character of Paris Hilton. She was scatterbrained, rich, and solely focused on boys and fashion, as well as the candy counter employee. Maddie, who was hardworking, and also goaded. Aston Tisdale give goes the show hard, bro. Props for is that they reversed the nerdy, smart Asian and dumb blonde stereotypes. Mr. Mosby mm, was the true. nervous hotel manager who would often try to ruin Zach and Cody's fun. He was like a father figure to them as well. When The Sweet Life aired in 2005, it was the most successful premiere in Disney Channel history. It was nominated for three Emmys and is wildly loved by fans. These wow. two were living the dream life kids like myself around the world wanted so bad. Plus, if you watch interviews from around this time, they were infectious. They were so lovable. Now, are y'all both, do you have girlfriends? Um, no, we are single men. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that boy's trying to raise him up. looking for a Christian girl with morals and values. 
<laughs> really knew they needed to keep them around w longer, is. so they came up with a sequel in 2008, The Sweet Life on Deck. Before they started a new that show, That was in 08? Here. So Dylan and Cole actually got like jobs at a comic book store called Meltdown in LA. Most of what they did was packaging, putting the comic books in the little sleeves. But their father always taught them that they can't get wrapped up in celebrity status. The 16-year-olds were kids just like everybody else, and that they needed some balance in their life. The boys picked up hobbies. Cole started his journey into photography. He's a great photographer. Drinking alcohol, which would be his next passion. The film uh. was about to start again, and it was time for them to quit the comic book store. The Sweet Life on Deck airs in 2008 to over 5 million viewers. Now they were on the SS Tipton, which was a cruise ship that they lived on, which created tons of new opportunity for them to get in trouble. None of the characters developed much over time. Cody stayed the soft, innocent dork, and Zack stayed the selfish jock. But we were growing up with them. We even watched Cody have to deal with his voice cracking, and the boys looking for their first armpit hairs. They were like the little brothers we always wanted. The two shows ran from 2005 to 2011, 168 episodes plus a movie. This was technically the longest running live action show. I thought like the Sweet Life movie was so Fans like, uh... the sequel. Some people even thought it was better than the original. I personally think the original was better, but we can fight it out in the comments. Naturally, like all shows, I that stayed in my case children, already. They can only last so long. Dylan and Cole were now 18 and looked vastly different than when they started. But the truth is, they didn't want the Sweet Life to end as abruptly as it did. The twins mm. wanted to produce and direct one more season of the Sweet Life. They came up with an idea where they graduate high school, move off the ship, and go back to Boston. In their downtime at college, they would meet a single dad with a child at the hotel. Zach and Cody would kind of raise the boy up like a little brother, showing him all the crazy stuff in the hotel, leading him into wacky situations. The final season could have been the perfect way to transition into a whole new show based around the True. young boy. Cole said that the goal of this was to transition them out of the show. That way the cast and crew didn't have to lose their jobs that they had for the past six years. Disney executives mm. laughed in their faces for the idea they came up Bro. with, which led to a five-year hiatus in acting. Oh, Disney, man. We know this, though, bro. We know what's going on right now with Johnny Depp and all that. Like, which that trial is crazy, by the way. But, like, Disney is so lame. Bro. I was literally talking to my mom about this, like, an hour ago, bro. Disney is so lame. We will see a photo of Dylan Sprouse working as a host in a New York City restaurant just two years after the Disney Channel, which led to multiple assumptions that he was broke. But when you see a picture of a guy who has made presumably, and I'm making a presumption here, a lot of money off of a television mm -hmm. series and that he's working in a restaurant, uh, wouldn't that be a reasonable conclusion? I mean, I definitely think that that's in mind. Um, it, although it is negative, it's just a negative way to think uh, for the most part. People can work jobs like that for experience, and I think that's that's kind of the the way I I targeted it. If I didn't know anything about the Sprouse twins, I would have assumed the same thing. But what you will yeah. notice in the rest of this video is that the boys, mostly Dylan, have done a lot to escape their previous lives. They both got accepted to New York University and decided to dorm with everyone else and go to college full time. Dylan okay. Was in video game design and was something of a video game addict. Cole That's was hard. an archaeology student, majoring in geographical information systems. He traveled all over the world through their that program makes sense. and even made a big discovery. Cole unearthed a mask of Denise in Bulgaria. Mm. They both were quite literally That's just normal hard. college kids from 2011 to 2014, focused on their studies and working side jobs in their free time. This type of normality most definitely prevented them from ending up like countless other child celebrities. Child True. stars face a lot of pressure to immediately get an adult acting role or start Yo, a music I ain't gonna career, lie. whatever it is. This ain't it, bro. This ain't it at all. I don't know. The beard could work, but this ain't it. He looked like he from Texas, bro. Like this, this don't look right at all. They don't that's, that's, that don't look right. I'm sorry. It seems like a step down because they have millions of fans that want them to still be their 13 year old selves. But when you get into your 20s, you just want to move on. The pressure ends up eating them alive and they make mistakes. Then it's highly publicized, which compounds the initial problem. So mm. instead of going down the dark Hollywood path, the twins did the exact opposite. Let's fully step away from this. We can't be compared to our old. It does. Like it doesn't look real, bro. Like not going to go back, yo. Not going to go back. It literally looks like... Where was that at? Systems. He traveled Whoa. all over the world through their program. Oh, back too far. It looks like bro is trying to... It looks like someone else cosplaying as Dylan Sprouse. Not actually Dylan Sprouse. That's the problem. It doesn't look... It doesn't look right, bro. And why he only got one earring? Started That's weird, career. man. Whatever it is, if they... 
fully step away from this. We can't be compared to our old roles if we aren't doing anything at all. They did stay popular on Twitter and social media Ballad. and would let the jokes fly. Oh, I get it, Selena. Too good to follow your old pals, Dylan and Cole, huh? <laughs> this is just like when we were 12. Cole started an Instagram Bro. page called Camera Duels, where he would post pictures of people that were trying to secretly take pictures of him, accompanied with comically uh. long captions of him critiquing their strategies. Okay. The only scandals or That's controversies hard. they got in were pretty mild. Dylan took lewd pictures of himself that leaked. Because of this, he gained hundreds of thousands of followers, so it kind of helped him. On then Tumblr? Cole started a Tumblr <laughs> social experiment that legitimately made some of his fans turn on him where he pretended mm. to be himself in order to get fans to engage with him while they were engaging he was writing deep and philosophical paragraphs on why their perception of him is flawed then mm. after one month he deleted his account told everyone it was a social experiment and basically made fun of them for idolizing him and engaging kind of a douchey move oh like I said before, that's kind of fire though like cody and Zach. that's more because that's the thing a lot of a lot of child actors especially but just actors in general that their fan bases will kind of just be like really like way too into him you know kind of like put him on a pedestal like they're just normal people you know what i mean so he was kind of like convincing them to not see him like that that's real smart cole is the philosophical poetic artsy boy who thinks super deeply about everything dylan while still being artsy and well educated likes to slam beers with the bros and have a good time we get it you're dylan sprouse and you're livid about games and journalism even though you can't fight me irl catch these hands Yo. we are as the sun the rays come bearing to our soft-spoken souls dancing torpidly upon the frail shutter of angst your insta yo I said dylan discovered his love for alcohol at age 16 due to his that's love for funny history, bro he became interested in the ancient alcoholic beverage mead which apparently is the oldest alcohol ever that can be traced back 8,000 years it's a fermented what? beverage made of honey water and yeast during his college years he would practice making his own mead some batches were good some were terrible but no matter what mm. he and his roommate matt got drunk when dylan graduated <laughs> college he was taking some acting gigs but he had more free time and wanted to pick up a hobby since he was passionate about brewing he got an internship at a distillery called king's county in brooklyn working hey, there and getting immersed into this world made him realize how badly he wanted to pursue this hobby into something bigger the all-wise meadery was born which is his brooklyn meadery where he actually makes the alcohol himself oh that's a lot of people sick in i didn't know that doubted dylan they thought he was a privileged actor boy who grew up with everything and wanted to take over their hard-earned reputation they didn't realize how passionate he was and how much respect he had for mead and brewing plus he had a lot of people just just saying he was another celebrity endorsing a product like That's he didn't hard. care for it it was just for money i have to explain a lot that i'm actually brewing it right i have to explain a lot that these are my recipes look I have at to the coat bro to people that this Sheesh. is my business and i'm here every day i can be that comes as a surprise to a lot of people it's kind of wild to see someone go for a much more humble job serving the local community rather than chasing hollywood fame cole on the other hand was pursuing his photography career not so much for money but rather the art one day he asked traveler he's Magazine a great photographer a on a piece for them they said yes but not for money since they had no idea he did anything outside of the disney channel so cole took a three-day train journey from the west coast to the east coast and documented the process they ended up publishing mm. his article digitally while this isn't some massive success story it just shows the boys were trying to broaden their horizons with the luxury of not needing big paychecks he would go on to be a respected photographer and get some of his pieces published in high profile magazines but cole would ultimately get back into acting in 2017 he got a riverdale. consistent role on the wildly successful teen drama show riverdale which has been running for seven seasons as well it's been going on that long that's actually w i only i only watched season one and i think some of season two but I didn't finish season two and I didn't keep watching after that. Cause I was watching like right when it came out on Netflix, I think they were like two seasons ahead on TV, but I was watching Netflix, but I stopped watching cause it kind of got lame, but that's actually fire though. Well as lead roles in the movies Five Feet Apart and Moonshot. I definitely see I heard Cole Five Feet Apart was good. large acting gigs in his career. Yeah, Dylan he's did Jughead. also get back into acting in 2017. His team suggested that he shoot for lead roles in big projects like his brother, but he prefers small indie films and wanted to participate on good mm. projects regardless of the character size or depth. Dylan still spends nice. a lot of his time focusing on video games. He's extremely immersed in Dungeons and & Dragons and offers his help Nerd. with indie game developers. <laughs> he even recently released his own comic book called Sun Eater. My brother mm. and I used to 
to get quite a bit of, oh, you made it out. Oh, you're unscathed. No. The young women on the channel we were on were so heavily sexualized from such an earlier age than my brother and I that there's absolutely no way that we can compare our experiences. Mm. Cole has been vehemently against child stars getting criticized for their downward spirals because there are mostly women being targeted and the public doesn't seem to understand the difficulty of being a child star or what goes on behind the scenes. Dylan mm. and Cole actually started getting into acting because their family needed money, so they put their one-year-olds to work. This sounds like a recipe for disaster, but it seems as if their parents instilled the right values in them to maintain balance as a celebrity. Some people believe Disney exhausts and overworks children for our entertainment. Cole says that they didn't suffer as much trauma since they were boys, which could be very true. Yikes. I also believe that stepping away from the spotlight and pursuing something normal was the key to them maintaining their sanity and integrity. Although they look back on their past fondly and came out unscathed, we will never get a Sweet Life of Zack and Cody reboot. I'm asked all the time. Yeah, I hope not, bro. I'm gonna do a Sweet Life reboot, and I go, no, absolutely not. Honestly, confidently, no. <laughs> and they're like, no. I would hope I not, bro. Reboot. I hate all these reboots, man. Like, we need to just let stuff be. Like, I feel like there's way too much. But the problem is, and what happens is, all these networks see how the streaming era is working, but they know that they can't keep the same fan base if they put out new streaming shows on their streaming services. So they bring back old shows and then, like, flip them, make them new and lame or whatever, and then put them on streaming. So it's like all the old fans trying to see what's going on now. It's whack. I feel like the only one that came out good was the new iCarly. Even though I didn't watch it, I heard it's really good. Like, really good. And I've seen some of it. Like, I've seen clips and stuff. It looks good. But for a W video, man, Patrick CC has been going crazy for, like, ever. But especially the past few months. Yeah, he's almost at a million, bro. He's at 743,000, bro, on the main channel. We need to get him to a million, bro. He, he, Because, like, he be going crazy with these videos, for real, for real.